time. Flip to the right at the top of your screen. And Makowski just gets rid of it in time to Floyd Turner. Makowski, sensing the pressure, gets rid of it. Turner picks up the first down, but the Magic Man really paid the price. But that's a veteran quarterback that can do that. A lot of quarter, the younger quarterbacks can't hang in there. But Mikowski hangs in there, delivers the ball to Turner, and takes the shot. Take a look at the top of your screen. Good block there by Potts to get Rufus Porter, but here comes Wooden, completely untouched. Puts the hit on Mikowski. Take a look at how he lands right on the crown of his head. Now, don't forget that something that's been happening constantly throughout the league is concussions. Meyer even had one earlier, of course, Joe Montana, some of the other quarterbacks, Neil O'Donnell, on and on. And there is Rick Meyer who says he took two of the three biggest shots of his young career last week and described himself as just a bit goofy. He had to come out of the game for a series or two, and now Don Mikowski's shaking up as we take another look. Well, as I mentioned, Potts was a good block, but there's just no way that they can get Wooden misdirection. Takes the hit. Now watch the head at the end and how he lands. You can do as much as you can to legislate against the injuries to quarterbacks, but the reality is, is that in contemporary football, the name of the game, quite frankly, is kill the quarterback. And if you ask defensive coordinators league-wide, they're going to say the same thing. We've got to put the pressure on these people coming with six and seven guys. And, and Todd, some pretty wild talk this week as we take a look at the back of Jim Harbaugh about even some kind of spin bin uh, as, as the NHL has, but putting a defensive player in a penalty box has been some wild conversation, but has it, has it come to that? Well, th th that's what they're trying to do, but the reality of that is what's going to happen? Are we going to power play field goals? I don't think so. What I do, what I do think, what I do think is that quarterbacks, what's going to have to happen is despite the millions of dollars these quarterbacks are getting, during practice time, they're going to have to take some collisions, and let me explain to you why. Throughout the preseason and throughout the practices, if you go to teams throughout the National Football League, quarterback always has on a red jersey, which means what? Don't touch him. Now when he gets any kind of collision out of the field, he's not conditioned to getting hit. That's the reason why we have so many injuries to the quarterback. Magic on the sidelines, so Jim Harbaugh takes over the ball.